there I was, about to die in the void and lose all of my items. With water not flowing under bedrock, elytras being banned, and none of my teammates being online to save me, I had zero chance of survival. So, how did I do it? This machine designed by Borborad utilizes one of Minecraft's most underrated glitches, giving me the ability to teleport myself back from anywhere in the world, even the void. Combining this with the void trap, I could lure my enemies into it, fall in with them, and escape, totally unharmed. While creating the first version of the teleporter, I received an ominous message from a player named Breon, asking to meet at spawn. I was almost certain it was a trap, but I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt and made my way to spawn. JJ, what are your thoughts on liars? You, you like them or not, you know? Uh, no, not a big fan personally. Now, I'm already suspicious like crazy because he's made me put on some weird texture pack, but I decided to go along with it. After a while of boating, we begin to approach what appears to be our destination, a massive dripstone cave. After jumping down into the most suspicious room ever, Rion showed me around what appeared to be a base, but something didn't seem right. So, uh, the secret society, you know, I built it because I found this thing down here, this weird eyeball. Um, you did not find this little bro. It seeks the truth. Um, and that's the partly the reason why I don't have eyes. I gave it to it to be a part of this project. So, will you join us? Although he didn't say it himself, Rian just invited me to a cult. Obviously, I said no. I literally had an entire trap to make, but Rian kept insisting. I was getting freaked out, so I did the only logical thing I could have at that moment. I mean, I kind of wear them personally because I don't think I look good with pure white eyes. Oh, come on. JJ. Stop. Come on, man. Hey! Oh. You're Stop. still wearing your glasses, little bro. Oh, shit. Come on. I got it. Bro. Oh, my God. Bro. Bye. I'm out of here. I booked it back to my base, but before leaving, Rion said this. You're gonna regret that, JJ. That day, I made a promise to myself. I would trap Rion and stop his cult spreading or die trying. After swiftly finishing the machine, it was time to test it. You see, the teleporter consists of three steps. Number one, the stasis chamber. Using a fishing rod to open the trap door, you throw a pearl into the bubble column. Step 2, activating the stasis chamber sends a signal to a chunk loader, which begins pushing minecarts in and out of the portal to keep the chunks loaded. Step 3, go through the portal with the fishing rod in your offhand, then travel to another portal nearby, go through, place the fishing rod in your hotbar, and pull. After completing all of these steps, I should have been teleported back, but something didn't work. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. I forgot about the chunk borders, bro. I quickly scouted out an island that has the right conditions to build one of these self teleporters and built one again. Step one, step two, step three, and. Oh! And it worked perfectly. The only worry I have now is that. The last couple days, the amount of people with no eyes has been increasing rapidly, and I have a feeling that Rion is going to be looking to get rid of me. The long hours the players had been spending on the server definitely worried me. Not knowing what to expect, I realized that the void had become not just a way to trap Rion, but it had become the safest place for me to be. Being the only one who knew how to survive it, it would be impossible for Rion or his teammates to attack me while in it. Okay, so now comes the hard part. I need to break a massive area of bedrock because my plan is to create like an escape room of sorts. Then get someone to pretend to be the creator of it and have them be the one to control the room that will just drop me and Rion into the void. And then obviously, I teleport out. This is gonna take a while. Before I do that, click the link in the pinned comment to join the Infuse SMP public discord. As recently, we have launched a public anarchy Minecraft SMP that you can join. You can find the IP and all the information that you need in the discord server. And I'm out of TNT.
This is officially the last time we break bedrock. Yes! Okay. That's the last piece of bedrock. Now, I just have to build the escape rooms. Room number one didn't take long to finish. It was a simple puzzle where if you broke the correct ore, you would open the door to room number two. A simple forest with a simple puzzle. Find the correct lever and open the door to room number three. A desert themed room with what appears to be a combination lock, but unfortunately for Rion, there is no right answer to the puzzle. Only a massive hole to the void. All right, I'm pretty sure everything is now finished. To get Rion into the trap, my plan was fairly simple. Get one of my friends to pretend to be the creator of the escape room and make Rion believe that both me and him are participants in the escape room. Once Rion is at the trap location, I would complete the three steps to set up the teleporter and make my way over. At which point, all that would be left to do is to trap Rion. Okay, I think we should do it now. Uh, what's good? Yo, yo, Hello? yo. Are you both at spawn? Rion and JJ? I'm, I'm not. Like, Alright, uh, Rion through this portal. Oh, I, was I have to go not. through? Yep, we're I'm, going I'm through I'm gonna go now. through the- yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're there? I'll, I'll let you know yeah, if it's a trap. What the oh, hell? Okay. Oh, oh, we killed the Rion! <laughs> TNT minecarts. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna kill both of you, you know what I mean? You're making me, like, watch him, like, have- But, uh, do I wait for you, JJ? Yeah, yeah. I am on my way. I'm, like, a uh, hundred blocks away. Is that your whole cold tot? Topic, just eyes. Okay, I'm here. I'm going through the portal. Alright. Look at that bed me, JJ. No! Yeah, let me do let me ah. do my introduction. Let me do my introduction. Okay. Okay. Hmm. He are the an observer. That could open the door. Read dot oh. oh I got it, I got it. There's an observer. Oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh it it opened. No way you did that quickly. I'll oh, just hold it, hold it. Oh. Cool. I made okay, it through. I'm okay, through, okay, through. we made it. Okay, okay. next room, next room. Okay. You're in second room? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You don't even this... have to explain this one, bro. Okay, let's go, JJ, let's go. <laughs> oh, Wait. okay. Are okay, you... we're in room three, we're in yeah, room three. Yeah, I explained it. I what? I, what? I, I, let me do my explanation first. I, nah, nah, I, I did it, bro. Okay, well. This is a combination lock. Use the lever to unlock the door. And although cats die and death... Oh, my, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna yeah. die. I'm dead. Oh, dude, I'm chugging god apples right now. He has to just bro, give it like. There's no shot that you live. <laughs> yes, let's what? go. Wait, what? Buddy. Let's go. What happened? <laughs> we get trapped, Rion. <laughs> get trapped. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, My master crazy. plan. I had done it. Weeks of work had finally paid off, and I had trapped Rion. Even though at that moment I was over the moon, I had no idea where all this would eventually lead me. And in this video, I used 2000 chickens to trap my enemies on the infused SMP. Subscribe!